What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back another episode in my path power before we get into it If you guys are looking to pick up any coins head on over to just You can use the code Japes to get yourself a discount at checkout so still rolling picking up basically where we well exactly where we left off and it's been a little while it took a little bit of time i had a big wedding over the weekend uh one of my really good friends here in chicago he's tied the knot that point there's no going back now for him uh but it was so my brother was in town as well and it's just one of those busy weekends coming up against this guy he's going all brazilian he's using neymar as his striker uh, it's an okay looking 4-3-3 squad. I like I like the idea of what he's going for right there. Um, and I'm gonna talk. Ooh, I actually I'm not allowed to talk about the FIFA 16 beta, um, so I am not gonna talk about that. Um, but I'm gonna talk generally about some of the changes that I've seen that they're talking about with the FIFA 16. Uh, that should be coming out now in about a month. I'm freaking excited. I am ready just for something new, for a change of pace. And I know many of you guys are like that as well. And I want to do, leading up to that, I want to do some more vloggy type stuff. So if there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see from me, by all means, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will do my absolute best to try to uh, accommodate as many of your ideas as might as you guys might be able to uh, come up with. So it should be a bit of fun. Uh, 90th minute in this one. Um, so we left this one pretty late. And he was a decent player. And oh my. Oh, do we stick our leg out right there? I don't know. You be the judge. Korea face plants in the box. Mm. He scored a nice goal for Atletico recently, so it's good to see him back healthy uh, and playing in real life. And I know I was speaking to a buddy of mine that's like a huge Atletico fan. He's like, dude, I really, really hope this guy come or you know kind of turns into the player that everybody seems to think he can be. But that just escalated so quickly. Bruma on the freaking volley, an absolute thunderbolt right into the back of the net, 90th minute. I, I could not believe this strike. That's his weaker foot as well. He just absolutely smashes it. Um, and, of course, gets the man of the match off of that as well. Just things that Bruma does. 6-0-0 in the division. We need one more win to lock down the division title and the coin bonus to go with it. Our squad's actually looking pretty good. And the BBVA, as far as value goes at this point in Ultimate Team, is without a shadow of a doubt the best uh, kind of direction that you can go. Now, I want to start incorporating some informs and some more fun-ish squads while we, you know, actually what we're going to probably do is it'll take a little bit because I've still got some stuff to catch up on that I recorded before, but I'm going to just start going through and we're going to just do like a crazy formation rotation uh, and switch around stuff all the time and see kind of what I can get into. And there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. There's, you're going to hear me get a little bit pissy about stuff that's going on, I'm sure, because like you guys, I still get frustrated when I'm when I force myself to do something that I know maybe I'm not best at. Uh, but I also get to laugh when things like that happen. Look at Hamas claiming the goal is his own, and I was like, "What just happened right there?" And it's basically Vela just smacks. It. It's a perfect angle. It's always wonderful when the replay angle is exactly what you're hoping for. He banks it off his like, and I was at his right hip. Goes right between the goalie's legs, giving me an early one 0 lead in this one. But I'm gonna try to go ahead and just rotate through formations. Um, I'll try to take some player suggestions from you guys on Twitter as well coming up here. Anybody that you might like to see because we're starting to get a decent-ish coin total probably. If we were to sell, well, maybe not quite yet, but coming soon, if we could sell everything, we'll probably be somewhere close to about 100K, which is uh, not too shabby for a quick kind of run up um, using the price ranges, using... Just the coin bonuses from divisions. I need to go ahead and play that gold cup as well to get that free gold pack. I completely forgot about that, but it would be useful to maybe pull something nice out of the hat there. 2 0 now, 74th minute. Laporta, he's actually pretty good, and I've gotten a little bit better using slower CBs. Um, and that's just because I've have I've become more of a more of a patient defender maybe Griezmann stops plants right foot is weak foot not a problem puts it away I thought the rage quit was coming it was not also we're gonna be doing a double upload today and I'm feeling a triple upload tomorrow so if you guys want a little bit of that three pack action make sure to let me know because it's been a little while since I've done one and I kind of just want to let it roll see what happens so we're gonna go ahead and do that for sure um, and then we should be all caught up, which is exactly what we're looking for. 
Um, you can see we win this one 4-0, 6,608 coins total. That is with the bonus for winning this division. So we've got a lot of goodies that we can go out there. Unfortunately, our DNF multiplier is just not where it should be because we remember we disconnected from that one match, which was just actually brutal. Uh, when you're trying to get started and going, you know, on like essentially games only, not too well. We've done some training because we just sell our players that we get on open bid for slightly higher buy nows. We made some coins doing that. It's an easy, easy way, and it'll undoubtedly work for you when you're starting 16 as well. So you can see we've got about 16,000 coins up there now, which is a decent mark. We've had some stuff sell on, which is excellent. You can see all of those guys were on their last match or out of matches, and. We bought them for less than that on open bids, and we're able to sell them on for a little bit more on buy now. So doing a decent little bit of business right there. Unable to pick anybody else up, but I've got some prospects, and we're starting to get to you know 16,000 coins for the BBBA. As I was saying, you can get some decent players like Andres Iniesta. That is a huge buy for me because. Some of you guys will know if you've been tuning into my streams, his team of the year card is my absolute favorite midfielder on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team without a shadow of a doubt. 100% will pick him every time. Pick up Isco as well. Trying to get more players kind of fill out the midfield. Go out Rakitic, 1,100 coins. We got Modric as well for not too much. I think 3,900 was what flashed up there. So the team, the team is starting to look pretty darn good at this point. Uh, anyways, though, that is where we're going to come to a close of this episode. Be sure to be on the lookout for an episode later on today. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.